Throughout life, people will make you mad, disrespect you, and treat you bad. Let God deal with the things they do, cause hate in your heart will consume you too. So if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, and that is how I run my life. Money and success don't change people. They merely amplify what is already there. The first step is you have to say that you can. I've trained myself to illuminate the things in my personality that are likable and to hide and protect the things that are less likable. I want the world to be better because I was here. In my mind, I've always been an A-list Hollywood superstar. Y'all just didn't know yet. The things that have been most valuable to me, I did not learn in school. And where I excel is ridiculous, sickening, work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. For me, there is nothing more valuable than how people feel in a movie theater, about a movie. Life is lived on the edge. I've always considered myself to be just average talent and what I have is a ridiculous insane obsessiveness for practice and preparation. I don't know what my calling is, but I want to be here for a bigger reason. I strive to be like the greatest people who have ever lived. Whatever your dream is, Every extra penny you have needs to be going to that. We all want to be in love and find that person who is going to love us no matter how our feet smell, no matter how angry we get one day, no matter the things we say that we don't mean. I'm a student of patterns. At heart, I'm a physicist. I look at everything in my life as trying to find the single equation, the theory of everything. I would have absolutely messed up the matrix. Traditional education is based on facts and figures and passing tests, not on a comprehension of the material and its application to your life. I know how to learn anything I want to learn. I absolutely know that I could learn how to fly the space shuttle because someone else knows how to fly it and they put it in a book. Give me the book and I do not need somebody to stand up in front of the class. My skin is hard when it comes to my music, but with my movies, I'm still a virgin in a lot of ways. I'm not used to being shot down for no reason. If you're not willing to work hard, let someone else do it. I'd rather be with someone who does a horrible job, but gives 110% than with someone who does a good job and gives 60%. You can cry, ain't no shame in it. I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. I'm a student of world religion, so to me, it's hugely important to have knowledge and to understand what people are doing. I love producing. I am loving doing that. I think that is my most natural space in the business. I just love producing or editing and that's where I thrive. When I was growing up, I installed refrigerators in supermarkets. My father was an electrical engineer. The first time that I performed as an actor was the first day on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. If it was something that I really committed myself to, I don't think there's anything that could stop me becoming president of the United States. I was raised in a Baptist household, 
went to a Catholic church, lived in a Jewish neighborhood, and had the biggest crush on the Muslim girls from one neighborhood over. Goofy was the word that was used most often by my sisters because I've been this tall ever since I was 12 years old. I had to focus and create a character in Bagger Vance, not just do my Will Smith thing and get paid. In black neighborhoods, everybody appreciated comedy about real life. In the white community, fantasy was funnier. I started looking for the jokes that were equally hilarious across the board, for totally different reasons. I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. I viewed myself as slightly above average in talent. My school was 90% white, but 90% of the kids I played with were black. So I got the best of both worlds. I think that is where my comedy developed. When you create art, the world has to wait. As a child, I watched Dallas, and that was my vision for my life for as long as I could remember. I had a hit single on the radio for 30 days before I graduated from high school. There's so much negative imagery of black fatherhood. I've got tons of friends that are doing the right thing by their kids and doing the right thing as a father, and how come that's not as newsworthy? I viewed myself as slightly above average in talent, and where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. It's quite highly possible that I have peaked. I mean, I just can't imagine what else I could do beyond this. It's really a bittersweet kind of feeling. I try to speak my points of view about black America and how I feel about black men and the role that black men should play in their lives with their children and in their lives with their women. I love being black in America and especially being black in Hollywood. I think with movies, I am really connecting to the Joseph Campbell idea of the collective unconscious. I don't necessarily believe in organized religion. Tommy Lee Jones is hilarious. I would say, if you look at the body of his work, the character he is most like is the one in The Fugitive. That's how he talks and jokes. That is the type of energy he has. My first record came out while I was a senior in high school, which is dangerous. A rapper is about being completely true to yourself. Being an actor is about changing who you are. Well, all I know is what I read in the papers. I mean, I'm very serious with my kids about them comprehending the intricacies of global finance.